Hey there, I'm Michaela Savage with your news briefing. The Socceroos are hoping to keep the momentum going after last night's historic win over Tunisia in the FIFA World Cup. It's the first time we've won a World Cup match in more than a decade. Striker Mitch Duke scored the winning goal with a first half header. He's told SBS he's extremely proud of the team. I'll go to war with these boys. Huge shift by the lads, keeping the clean sheet, getting the result. We fought to the end. Everyone gave 110% and that's all you could ask. Showed that Aussie spirit and we got the result. In Victoria, Premier Daniel Andrews has spoken after winning the state election last night. He's vowed to govern for every Victorian, even those who didn't vote Labor. I also want to acknowledge there are Victorians who did not, and we will govern for you. We will govern for your kids, for your health, for your education, for your future. Our positive plan is for every single Victorian. When it comes to some of those results, there's some work to do in those communities, and I will do that very important work. It looks as though federal Labor's industrial relations changes could become law this year. Workplace Relations Minister Tony Burke has told the ABC he struck a deal with Senator David Pocock after a meeting last night. Briefly, a COVID-riddled cruise ship has been diverted from Bali to Fremantle to arrive in Australia in the coming days. And it looks like having a cold one could get more expensive this Christmas. Thanks to flooding across much of the country, barley crops have been wiped out, meaning the price of beer will push up as we head into the festive season. What would you do with a dollar? Did you know that for every one dollar donated to Food Bank, two meals are created? Head to foodbank.org.au. Just a few hours to go before the AFLW Grand Final gets underway. The Brisbane Lions are hosting the clash against the Melbourne Demons at Brighton Homes Arena. While back to our top story, Socceroos coach Graham Arnold has told SBS he couldn't be more proud of his men after last night's historic 1-0 win over Tunisia. The effort level was incredible. When the doubters hate us, bring it on. You know, like I said to the boys after the first game, it was the best friendly we could have had against France. Because you make a small mistake, you punish. And a lot of those mistakes were removed tonight. Selling the family home. shower or two about for the limestone coast today with a top of 17 degrees tomorrow a shower or two again a top of 17 and it's the daily stories that matter in under 20 minutes search the briefing podcast on listener download the app now and listen for free